Hey guys, so we have a kind of fun build today. We are building the dollhouse. Um, I saw someone using this in their build the other day and thought that it would be kind of fun to try to recreate it. Um, this is kind of my first time using the curve wall, so you will see me really struggling with these curve walls. I, I had heard that they were kind of glitchy and really hard to use, but I just hadn't really used them yet, and I definitely did learn that they are very hard to use. So I originally had wanted the tower there on the front to be, um, you know, the, the main part to be round and for the porch to be round, but if there's a way to do it with the curved walls, I could not figure it out. Um, so I ended up having to do the porch more of uh, like an octagon shape, but I think in the end it looks okay. Um, I started to cut all of this out with me working with the curves, but I just decided to leave it in but it did take me a really long time to get it to work. Yeah, every time I tried to pay, place the outside curve, it, it messed up the inside curve. So evidently you cannot do a curved wall inside of a curved wall. It wasn't too crazy about me doing the octagon on the outside, but I eventually got it to work. For some reason this build took me over a week to do. Um, I did it kind of in parts and it just seemed like it was taking forever to do. So that's why I didn't upload last week. I was kind of, I started on this um, over, a little over a week ago and it just took me a lot longer than I expected. I didn't have as much time to play and work on it. tower here was giving me a lot of trouble um I wanted it to be you know like a room that you can actually use on the top floor and the bottom floor um I did get the bottom floor um working but the top floor I could not get to work not in a way that it didn't make the like the little walkway to it look weird um so I did kind of just close off that second floor tower um I guess you could go back and probably put like maybe a ladder from the bottom floor up there but I just left the second part blank. I did use the bottom part though. Thank you. 
was thinking we had a round top window that was a little bit smaller, but I don't know if this may be in a pack I don't have and I've seen someone else use it or if I was just mistaken, but I could not find it. And we didn't have any windows uh, like the windows on the dollhouse on the bottom floor. So I just went with these um, base game square windows. I decided to switch the roof to the blue because it matched a little bit closer than the purple did. It actually worked out great. Um, these pieces here on the roof, I, in the middle of building this, I decided to buy um, the Strangerville pack. And so those roof pieces are from Strangerville. And that was just a coincidence because I didn't realize those were in that pack. Um, there, I think there may be some, maybe in the base game debug, but I, this build took so long, I don't know that, that I even went into debug at all on this build because um, it just takes a lot of time to go through there. But yeah, so I was really lucky that these came in the Strangerville pack, so I didn't have to try to figure out something else that would work there. And this spire as well, too. So originally I was trying to do the little bump out here that's the on the um, original dollhouse. And I was trying to make it just like the dollhouse, but it ends up just looking kind of weird. So I, in the end, just do a wraparound porch all the way around the back. Because, I mean, the back's open on the dollhouse, so I kind of had to take some creative liberty on the back anyway. So I just did a wraparound por porch in the end. I think it turned out good, and I think it fit the, the house pretty well, too. I was trying to do something interesting with the back here and nothing looked right so that's why I ended up doing the wraparound porch.
I'm trying to work with this uh, tower again to see if there's a way to access that second floor tower, but I would have had to like redo the roof and then it kept messing up um, the roof inside the tower and so I just decided it was not worth it so I just closed it off. I actually don't know, I said you might put a ladder in there, I don't think you could do that either because I think you can't put ladders in the curved rooms. The curved rooms are just crazy and they're so hard to work with. I'm glad we have them but they're, they're difficult. Originally, I had wanted this house to be very grand and fancy, and uh, it kind of is, I guess, um, when I get done with it, but um, it's definitely not over the top, like princess fancy, which is kind of what I was thinking in, in the beginning, but I think it actually turned out kind of cute. Um, I had originally was thinking um, that room there on the bottom right being a office. Um, but I ended up taking it for the master bathroom because the room I had for the master bathroom was not big enough to do what I thought a master bathroom in a house like this would look like. So there is, I don't think I end up putting an office, I don't know that there's a computer at all, but I mean the chances of anyone actually wanting to play in this house is slim, but you could easily add a, a computer to it. Um, and I ended up making what was going to be the master bathroom which is the little square tower there um, into like a walk-in closet which I thought was kind of cool. I did use a lot of different packs on this build too. I didn't limit my packs at all because I knew that I was trying to match um, the house as close as I could. So I kind of just used whatever worked and didn't really worry about what packs they came in. There again, I don't really anticipate anyone downloading this so I don't think it's really going to matter that much. Of course I had to use the most expensive fridge and stove. Um, I didn't have a budget on this house, so I didn't didn't really feel like it mattered that much to use expensive appliances. I actually like the way this kitchen turns out. I think it turns out kind of cute. Um, I like all the white. I, I kind of wanted to do the pink in there too, but I didn't want to go overboard with the pink. Um, so I do mostly white. I think I maybe end up using pink chairs. I don't really remember. It does end up being a three bedroom, three bath home as well. Um, the bottom store, uh, bottom story bathroom becomes a full bath with a shower. So you have uh, one bathroom for every bedroom. I did a little trick here in the master bath to make the tub look built in. It makes it look a little more fancy, I think. I kind of wish I would have made the house a little bit bigger just so I can make the bedrooms and the bathrooms a little bit more grand and have like an office or a study or a library. So I don't know, maybe I'll revisit this type build someday and make it a little bit more fancy.
everything about that curved room was difficult. Even painting the walls, hanging curtains, everything, putting furniture in it, and like everything jumps around and it's it's very difficult to do, but I got it to work. It just took a little bit of a little bit extra work to get everything where it needed to be. I didn't really know what to put in there though, so I just kinda made like a breakfast area. So it, you can probably tell here it jumps to a fully furnished house. Um, I was going to leave that in, but the video was getting really long. Um, so I figured you could probably, you know, just see it in the screenshots. I did take a few extra screenshots just so you could see every angle of the room. So they will be at the end. Um, and you can see how I decorated all the rooms. I did the master room um, and then I did a bedroom with a full bed and a bedroom with a twin bed. And the uh, twin bedroom turned out really cute. I wanted to do something different on the outside, um, something kind of fancy. Uh, so I end up doing a pond here um, and I build a gazebo and kind of do some landscaping. At this point, I had multiple hours into this build, so I I didn't do anything extremely detailed, but I did make it look um, semi-realistic for, you know, kind of a fancy house like this. So there's like a nice uh, walkway and fountain to the pond and everything. And I, and I thought it turned out pretty cute. the landscaping to look uh, simple but kind of elegant um, but not too busy so I kind of just use the same flowers over over and over and just kind of put them in a cluster just to make it uh, clean but not not look empty So we're kind of wrapping up the build here, so um, yeah, so for the, the announcement, I will be changing my YouTube name um, probably in the next week, maybe two weeks, but I plan to try to do it this week um, to just be a little bit more broad because I want to start bringing you guys some Minecraft videos. Um, I love building houses in Minecraft. I probably won't be doing like Let's Plays in Minecraft, um, but I will be doing builds and then also... Uh, some possibly like house flipper and stuff some other games so stay tuned for that uh yeah so it should be rolling the screenshots now and i hope you enjoyed this build talk to you guys later